Are you thinking about moving to Reno, Nevada, or more specifically, the Damani Ranch area? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going over my beautiful listing in the Saddle Ridge community by Toll Brothers in Damani Ranch. This is 3010 Show Jumper, and the home is listed just under $735,000. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about Reno, Sparks, and Northern Nevada real estate, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I get people just like you reaching out to me every single day, looking to make the move to Northern Nevada, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about buying, selling, investing, or moving to Reno, Nevada, and you need some help, all my information will be down in the description below. I look forward to making this move as easy as possible for you. So you're probably wondering where 3010 Show Jumper is located. It's located in the Saddle Ridge community of Damani Ranch. This is a beautiful Toll Brothers community that is gated. Another really great thing about this community that it has some pretty awesome amenities. It has a really cool pool, a hot tub, and a really awesome clubhouse and gym. They even have an area in the clubhouse that you could rent out for baby showers or parties for a small fee. They even have tennis courts, pickleball courts, and a playground for the kids. This is a really awesome community. The other nice thing about this home is that Damani Ranch is super convenient. Within about 10 minutes of this home, you can get to four different grocery stores. You got Safeway, Smith's, Sprouts, and even Winco. And you're only about 15 to 17 minutes away from the airport, Costco, and tons of other amenities, which is what makes Damani Ranch so special and which is what makes it such a popular area. All right, so once again, this is 3010 Show Jumper in Damani Ranch in a awesome Saddle Ridge community built by Toll Brothers. This home was built in 2015, has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a three car garage at 2106 square feet. And it's listed at just under $735,000, which is actually priced under two of the most recent comparable sales at $740,000 and $762,000. All right, right as you make your way into the main entryway, you can see you have the nice wide hallway, which is something that I absolutely love about Toll Brothers Homes. Another really amazing feature in this home, which I absolutely love, is you have high ceilings. You have 10 foot ceilings. When they built this home in 2015, they upgraded the tile throughout the home, but only in the main living areas. You're still gonna have carpet in the bedrooms, but this is actually my preference. Even in my new home, I put LVP everywhere except the bedrooms. So right as you make your way through the main entryway, just off to the left, you're gonna have a coat closet over here, which is a pretty good size. Just off to the left, you're gonna have a full bathroom. You got dual vanities here, nice brown cabinets. And once again, that same tile that's extended throughout. And they even have more tile should you wanna replace a couple. If you find any that are cracked in the future, they do have a good amount of replacement tiles. So I have a tub shower combo here with a nice tiled shower that goes up to just above the shower head. You got your toilet here as well. Right as you make your way out, just off to the left, is gonna be your first secondary bedroom, which is actually a fairly good size. As you can see right here, there's a queen size bed with two end tables, and you have a little bit of room to spare on each side, so you could easily fit a king size bed here if you'd like. And then as you can see, like I said, you have brown carpet, in this bedroom. Show you what it looks like from the corner. Give you a better idea of the size. That's a very good size room. And over here, it's a pretty, pretty standard closet. And then just off to the left is your second secondary bedroom, which is also a really good size. It's also gonna be another queen size bed here. As you can see, you have room for a dresser, could easily put a TV there, maybe even a desk here if you'd like, or there's even a little room for a desk over here in this corner. As you can see, this right here is a queen size bed and one end table, but you could still easily fit a king size bed in here if you'd like. Another thing I wanna mention, I know they are still living here, so yes, there is some stuff in the closet, but they did spend a lot of money to upgrade these closets. I think anywhere from seven to nine K about five or six years ago. So the master closet 
the pantry and the secondary bedroom closet are upgraded, which I think is really nice for storage and convenience. Once again, we're back to the main entryway. Right over here is your powder room or half bath. You've got the same tile in here. You have a pretty standard vanity and mirror setup. We're gonna come down the hall. As you can see, you got the beautiful great room here, with tons of space, the beautiful kitchen. You got granite counters, maple cabinets, and they have a really big island, which is really nice. You can put a couple bar stools here, or probably three or four on the other side. But what's really nice is they also added these extra cabinets, which gives the island a little bit more space and more accessibility and more storage. You can see they got some stuff in here for the kids and plenty of counter space. Over here, it's going to be the pantry. But you can see they also upgraded this pantry. So you have a ton of space to really, really utilize the 10 foot ceilings. Another view of the kitchen. Like I said, you got plenty of counter space here. And over here, plenty of room for the dining table. All right, we're gonna head on over here to the garage. We have plenty of counter space and cabinets. And then this is right next to the garage. And just off to the right, you have the laundry area, with plenty of space. You got counter space, you got cabinets, and which is really nice that you have a laundry room sink, which isn't an upgrade in any Toll Brothers home. And plenty of space for your washer and dryer. As you can see, you got plenty of room for your dining table. Got plenty of space over here for your great room. Give you another view of the great room, just to show you how much space is here, which in reality, I would say you spend most of your time in the kitchen or the living or great room anyway. So makes sense to have the most space here. All right, so I also wanna show you what it looks like back here. There is no grass but you got low maintenance and a huge paver patio. What's really nice about this as well is you have a covered patio, which they spent about 18 or 19 grand through Toll Brothers when the home was initially built. Here's another view of the patio, which is a really good size. Here's the walkway to the trash cans and the side gate. And you got some areas for planters over here. You could swap out these rose bushes for anything you want. You got a nice tough shed over here. You got some river rock over there. Once again, here's another view of the patio. Take you back inside and check out the master bedroom, and master bathroom. You can see there's plenty of light in here as well. All right, we're gonna check out the primary bedroom, which is a ton of space here. So this is actually a queen size bed, but as you can see, you have an end table over here to the left and even a lot more space just to the left of that end table. So you could easily fit a king size bed here with the room to spare. As you can see, you also have a lot of space over here with this end table. Here's what it looks like from a different angle. So you could easily fit a small desk or even a good size desk in that corner and probably move that dresser either into the closet or maybe even over here on this side of the room. And you could definitely fit a desk there if you'd like. All right, we're gonna check out the master bath. And once again, got the toilet here with that same tile throughout the home, except carpet in the bedrooms. Got a nice dual vanity set up here. Got a nice walk-in shower that was tiled off. And then one of my favorite parts is this upgraded master closet. So you have some really great storage here. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video on my beautiful listing, 3010 Show Jumper in Damani Ranch. This is a beautiful three bedroom, two and a half bath home with a three car garage listed just under $735,000. A home recently sold down the street for $740,000, which is slightly smaller. And another home in the community also recently sold on Bonfire for $762,000. This home is priced well below the comps. If you're thinking about buying, selling, 
selling, investing, or moving to Reno, Nevada, and you need some help, all my information will be down in the description below. I look forward to making this move as easy as possible for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.